Hello viewers, this is here at Lania. Welcome back to my playthrough of Lufia and the Fortress of Dome. Previously, we arrived here in Ebro in search of power oil to make the ship fly. However, the route to the cave where the oil can be found has been blocked by a landslide. Fortunately, there are submarine eddies that we can use to get to the oil cave, and we have obtained the oil key. So, after we take care of these mad wolves, we can get going to the oil cave. Jelly bolts and a sea snake. I am not too concerned. How shocking! Bye bye, enemies! We'll head around to the north of the landmass where Epro is located into this bay here. What's going on, enemies? You are not long for this world. Goodbye. Shelly bolts and evil clams. Again, nothing to worry about. So long, enemies. Not over there. Ah, here it is. And we fight some starfish. Not much of a fight. Goodbye, starfish. Here we are. Another delightful submarine cave. We have Maguros and a Manta Ray. Thank you for paralyzing my nuker. I really appreciate that. Take that. And that. Goodbye, foes. We'll head in here and explore this wonderful submarine cave. Heading to the north first. some treasures over in this chamber. But first we have to take out the sea dragons. Goodbye, sea dragons. Next we have a hydra and another sea dragon. Goodbye, Sea Dragon. Blizzard, eh? Mm. 
Goodbye. You didn't make me chill out. Now let's pop open these chests to get a power potion. And a big arrow. Next, we get the drop on a Hydra, and a Sea Dragon. Farewell, foes. Now we surprise Manta Rays and a Hydra. Goodbye, Hydra. And goodbye, Manta Ray. Next, a trio of Manta Rays. Nice going, Max. That is it for them. So, let's continue our exploration. And run into a couple of Hydras. These guys seem to have a one-attack mind. Goodbye, foes. Another boost, team. And stronger for Aguro. Next, we're ambushed by Sea Dragons who promptly raise their magic defense. Farewell, Sea Dragons. Over to the west. I'll ride this current and head into this cave. What's going on, Sea Dragons? Hmm, trying to flood us, eh? That will do, kind sir. Goodbye. Here we have an X potion and an X bomb. Now we have four Manta Rays. Let's light them up, Lufia. Or let's not light them up. 
let's let them paralyze us instead. So long, Manta Rays. Jaren reaches level 37. Congratulations, Jaren. A couple more sea dragons. Goodbye, sea dragons. Back through this current, and we have a couple of hydras. Nice, Sharon. Trying to burn us out, are you? It's not working. Goodbye. We'll head back this way, and then go north up this corridor. Here's a chest, with a mystery pin. We'll go in here, and open this chest for a miracle. Something good to find. Then we'll ride this current, reach that chest in the southwest. After we take out two more hydras. by Hydras. Time for a bit of a boost. Here we find a high magic. You get that, Jaron. We surprise a couple more Hydras. I certainly like surprising enemies. Nice work, Sharon. Goodbye, Hydras. Max reaches level 43. Congratulations, red-haired hero. Now to go back around to the north. A couple more sea dragons. I see sea dragons. by Sea Dragons.
we're back here. First, we'll head to the west. Let's see, do I want to go this way first? Hmm, probably not. We'll grab the contents of this chest anyway. A power gourd. What's up, sea dragons? Yes, Max, um, you attack. Goodbye, foes. Yep, we can't get the chest that way. We'll have to go around that current to the south. Now we have a couple of Hydras. Water? Really? You go, Lufia! Goodbye, Hydras! And stronger for Aguro. Now this chest contains a magic guard. Let's give this power potion to Lufia. Now we'll backtrack again and go north. A sea dragon and a hydra appear. Bang! Really? That's the best you can do. My bang is much better. Goodbye. Aguro reaches level 40. Congrats, Aguro. Time for some more boosting, Jaron. Here's a chest with a grand blade. We already had one. That leads out the northern side. Now we encounter a couple, a few manta rays. Good by Manta Rays. Lufia reaches level 42. Congratulations, Lufia. And we're outside. 
we're on the other side of that landslide. And we encounter a rock golem and some mad wolves. Let's give them a blast, Lufio. So long, monsters. And there's our cave entrance. First, we have three rock golems to deal with. I do not appreciate that. Time to break out the stone spell, Jaron. Farewell, enemies. Some champion for Aguro. Stronger for Max. And for Jaron. Alrighty. Now let's float over this toxic marsh and head on into the oil cave after we take care of mega turtles So long, Mega Turtles. Actually, it looks like Champion is in order for Aguro. We're now in the Oil Cave. Start by floating over this marsh, and we'll use the Oil Key to get inside. Our first chest in here contains 850 gold. This chest contains a dragon arrow. Hello, Hydras. Burning us out won't be too effective, Hydras. Nor will watering us. Goodbye, Hydras. We'll have to float across this marsh to get to another chest. One with a high bomb. Down this ladder, there's another chest here. 
with a dragon tooth. Down another ladder, we encounter a mad knight and rock golems. Goodbye, monsters. Have some more magic, Sharon. Now we'll head to the east. And first head north. There's a chest over here, with a big arrow. Mad Knights and a Mega Frog. That is a bit annoying, Mr. Mad Knight. Farewell, enemies. Up this ladder next, to another chest, with a miracle. Ah, oh, now we have a couple of Afrites. Hello, Afrites. Let us flood them out. Or they could burn us out. Yes, enjoy the floodwaters. We got a high potion from one of them. Now we'll head back down the ladder. Head to the south. Down this ladder. And there's a chest here with a dragon ring. In this marsh, we find a hidden high magic. You can have that one, Lufia. In the next episode, we'll continue exploring the oil cave. This is Hey Rotlinia. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.